Hey guys, today I want to talk about socializing design. What this means is showcasing the design in progress with the people that you work with, with stakeholders, with other design teams, with the marketing team, and the organization that you work for. Quite often what happens is that design is done in this silo and people believe that designers kind of get briefed and then they just disappear and then they just pop up at some point and they suddenly have a design. If you're going to operate that way, you're going to have a lot of confused people in the organization. You're going to have a lot of stakeholders wondering where their money is being spent, what is taking so long and not understanding the problems that are being solved. If you're being inclusive, then socializing your design is a crucial part of the process. So here's seven ways you can socialize your designs. Number one, put the work on the walls. What I mean by this is when you're working on a project, work on whiteboards, work on huge walls that you can start to paste flows onto everything from starting with your post-its low fidelity high fidelity and finished designs so that people can see the progress and what i like to do is replace a post-it with a wireframe and then a high fidelity design and so on and then people who are walking past all the time will actually see that things are growing and changing and they can come past and they can have a good look and critique things. Now obviously we're in lockdown, so using an online whiteboard might be a very good tool to showcase and share stuff who, for people who are working virtually. Number two, send out a weekly email or other communication that lets the relevant stakeholders know how the team is progressing. Outline some of the challenges that the team is facing and how they've overcome and what they managed to get during, done during that week or that sprint so that all the stakeholders are aware of where you are in the process. Number three, a video update. I like to do these every month to every six weeks and you do a quick little one minute video that quickly outlines what the team has done and maybe shows some sort of example of the progress that's been made in a visual form that people can easily digest and easily share. Number four, show your work at a public forum within the organization, like a town hall. I like to do this probably every three to four months Go and get on the stage and give people the context for the work that we've been doing and show them the progress. So people can see it all the time and they look forward to that engagement with you and your team to know what's going on with the project. Number five, share prototypes. Working prototypes can be produced within a single sprint. If you do Jake Naps, uh, Google Sprint, it's one week, you should be able to create a prototype. It doesn't matter if it's done with Keynote or a more advanced prototyping tool. What's important is to share the work often in a real scenario and get feedback from stakeholders, allow them to download this and share this with their colleagues across the organization. Number six, get your writers to write out the features in a consumable way the marketing team and the executives are able to understand the problems that you're solving and what the solution is that you're putting forward so that they can start thinking about it and communicating it with their colleagues as early as possible. And you could have a single brand voice across the organization that people are talking so that there's nothing that's getting miscommunicated. So if you put it in your words and you don't let other people interpret it, then it'll be easier to share more consistently. Seven, start writing blog posts about all the problems that you're solving, all the solutions that you've done, show the process 
from beginning to where you are at that stage, but frequently be communicating all of this without giving away company secrets. It's the design process. And this is great for sharing internally, creating a newsletter where people can subscribe, even communicating this externally as a way to attract talent. It shows confidence in your design efforts and the business standing behind the design team. Those are my seven suggestions for how best to socialize design in your organization. My name is Craig Jensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.